Self Answers. I'm here with another success book review. Uh, today's topic is going to be one of my all-time favorites, David Swartz, The Magic of Thinking Big. This man has big things to say about the power of thinking big and thinking positive. Uh, first of all, he says, you know, with quality, it's only painful once. And that's been a very, very good lesson. Um, done that with my blog. Uh, you know, some things are worth paying to have done professionally. Other things you can do yourself. That's one of the things as a business owner you have to decide. But another thing you have to decide is what you put into your head and the programming you allow it to be. So the magic of thinking big gives you a workable method, not an empty promise. The ideas and techniques are so original that the, uh, uh, <clears throat> the author had to invent a whole new vocabulary to express them. It's kind of funny. This book is, uh, I don't know, 70 years old, something like that. Uh, published 1959 originally and republished in 1965. So this is the second printing, and the second printing was the year I was born. So this information has been around for 55 years, and uh, it's trained a lot of successful people. The language the author created in writing this book is still used today by professionals in the field that have carried on his work. It's a good, rudimentary, basic lesson in all the things and how powerful what you say to yourself, about yourself, about your activities, about what you're working with, about the people you're working with, all comes back to being your truth. So let's think big, talk big, act big, never, never take the low road. Always take the high road with quality. You never have to wonder later on. It's like that with the nutritionals that I use to support my heart health. It's like that with the quality of books I read. It's like that with the mentors I seek out. It's like that with the leaders I follow. Quality is where you want to be. So if you're having trouble thinking big or don't understand what the magic of thinking big could be, you should read David Swartz's book. He's a genius when it comes to how we talk to ourselves and the implications of what we say. If you understood this, you might speak a little bit better or be a little bit fussier the words you use to describe things to your own children so you don't set them up for the same um, struggles that you had because you had poor thinkings about money or the tool of money or handling money or any of those sort of things that could keep you from becoming fabulously wealthy and enjoying all those things that you're jealous other people have. There's another lesson, actually. If you're jealous of something, you can't have it. So when you see somebody driving a nice car, or having nice clothes, or going to a nice restaurant, say something nice about it, be serious, be sincere, and honestly appreciate for them what effort it took them to get what they had and go what they were doing. And uh, that way more of that stuff will come into your life. There's a quick lesson from Michael Pierce with Michael Tan Health Answers. If this makes sense to you, like, share, please comment on this YouTube video. I really appreciate all of you. Have a great day. Thanks for paying attention.